So the great thing about HyperSmooth Pro is it's super easy to use. But in order to have access to HyperSmooth Pro, which used to be real study, is you do need to have a Premium Plus subscription through GoPro. This subscription is $99 a year, and it does offer a lot of features and benefits with it. HyperSmooth Pro is just one of those. But you do have to install the GoPro Player app in order to access this feature through it. The GoPro Player app is available in the Windows Store or the App Store on Mac OS. Once you have it installed, you just want to make sure that you do indeed have the feature enabled here. If you don't have it yet enabled in the app, it will require you to log in with your GoPro username and password. So when you first open the app, this is the screen you're going to see. And there's one option I recommend changing before you get started. Go up here under HyperSmooth Pro and select Auto Apply Stabilization on Open. What this is going to do is it's going to apply the stabilization automatically when you import unstabilized clips. I like to do that because it makes it quick, simple, and easy. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to show you how to stabilize a single clip. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to batch stabilize. So all you have to do here is go down to Open Media and you're going to navigate to wherever your clips are located. So in my case, I already have the clips all in a folder. The folder is called Unstabilized GoPro Clips. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to pick the first file right here. And you'll notice you can't control A, anything like that in this view. This does allow you to just select one clip at a time. So I'm going to click open. Now this clip I did film in 8x7, but when it applies the stabilization, it automatically reframes it and adjusts the lens correction to 16x9 for the aspect ratio. So let me show you what this clip looks like before it's stabilized. Of course, everything is going to look really washed out without a lot of color, and that's because I filmed in log mode to grade later on. So when we play this clip, you can tell it was definitely filmed unstabilized. My son wiped out, he got back up and kept going. He was very excited to run for the GoPro. Told him I needed someone that could run fast. He loved that. So that's what it looks like right there, eight by seven. When we go down here to this option, where it says HyperSmooth Pro Stabilization and we click on it, you're gonna notice it corrects the lens distortion and it puts it into 16 by nine framing automatically. Now, if you wanna look at the exact controls that are happening here, click on controls and you're going to see smoothness is at 50, cropping speeds at 50 and lens correction is all the way to the right at 100. And then aspect ratio is set to default. So in general, I like to just leave these settings at their defaults. I find they work really well, but you do have the additional option of horizon leveling and that could be useful depending on what type of footage you're correcting. So you could select that if you want to, but I generally leave horizon leveling off and I just use the defaults right here. You can know when HyperSmooth Pro is selected by just making sure this is highlighted blue. When it's not selected, it's white. So after I select it, it makes a huge difference. That footage is night and day difference. I'm gonna pause right here, toggle it off so you can see what it looks like without it on. It's really quite amazing. We'll pause again and toggle it back on. So once you're done stabilizing the clip, we're gonna export. Go up here to file, click export. And what I like to do when I export, there are a couple different options, but first of all, either use Cineform or HEVC. Cineform is going to give you the ultimate highest best quality, but it's going to take up a little bit more space. So keep that in mind. You can see it shows the export speed, the quality, and the file size when you select these different options. If you don't want that massive file size and you don't need the ultimate best quality, then you can either do HEVC, which is going to give you a much smaller file size without too much compromise on quality, or you can do H.264. Now the benefit of H.264 is if you have an older computer without a lot of processing power, the H.264 is going to be easier on your device. It's gonna be easier for you to work with but if you have a newer device, I recommend HEVC because it's going to give you the smaller file size benefit. But you'll notice when I select Cineform, the bitrate option goes away entirely. Basically, Cineform is lossless. You're not gonna lose any quality at all from what you filmed. And that's why I recommend Cineform if you want to get the very best option. And then over here, just make sure HyperSmooth Pro is selected. And of course, for the resolution, I filmed it in 5.3K and I want to export it in 5.3K. Then we're going to hit next. I want to send this to the same folder that I pulled the clips from, but I'm going to make a new folder in there called export. We'll do exports because there's going to be several. And then I'm going to click save and it's going to proceed to export. And depending on the specs on your computer, this could take a little bit of time or it could be pretty quick. All right. So what I want to show you next is what if you want to do a batch export? What if you want to do several clips at once? 
The good news is that also is very easy. You don't have to go through and do one at a time. Go up here to file and go to batch exporter. So this clip we already did. So I'm going to go up here and click remove, but then I'm gonna go up here and click add. And I want to add the rest of these clips. I'm just going to hold on shift and select all, and then I'm gonna click open. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna add them right here. So you can select your codec up here, your resolution, which I recommend keeping the default that's there for the quality. Since I'm working with Cineform, I wanna keep it to high. And then the key with the batch exporter is make sure Hypersmooth Pro is selected. It's usually not going to be selected by default when you're doing the batch, you do have to select it. And then of course, any options you want to change here like horizon leveling or lens correction, you can adjust there as well. But again, I just recommend keeping those all at the defaults. So down here is your output directory. You just wanna make sure the files are going where you want them to go so you don't have to dig in your files and try to find them later on. In my case, I'm gonna have them go to that export folder. And then once you've double checked, everything's good to go. Just go up here and click start. And it's going to show you the status with the percentage of each clip. And then when it's done exporting, all those files are gonna be in that folder. Your clips are then stabilized and ready for you to import into your favorite video editor to finish editing. And of course, at that point, you can do all the color grading, the cutting, the splicing, the music, everything else. I will say the batch exporter is a huge time saver. I love this feature. I can just mass export everything at once and it's very quick. And if you'd like to learn more about the benefits of Hypersmooth Pro, check out this video right here.